Hello, Sweet Home Arizona. Uh, in a video I posted yesterday, technically today, but I'm recording this, not gonna post it until tomorrow, which is today for you, so yesterday, right? Get it? <laughs> so in a video that you may have watched yesterday or whenever, but I posted it yesterday, or let's move on past that time warp problem. A uh, video I c called Cheaters Never Prosper. I think it was originally called A Culture of Cheating or a Cheating Culture. And I mentioned the college admission scandal uh, that took down or did some reputational damage to Lori McLaughlin. She spent time in jail and her husband the Massimo guy, I guess his name is Massimo. Uh, they did time. They did some jail time. But it also affected a, a number of people, but uh, William H. Macy and his wife, Felicity Huffman, were also caught up in that scandal. And I had mentioned that I was kind of in the middle of that. All right, let me tell you a story. Because <sighs> I told you I would. Where do I start? Okay, so my firstborn, this was, what, two years ago when that thing happened? My firstborn uh, went to a an elite private girls school. Uh, we were on an 80% scholarship, and I have, an, I have an uncle that paid for the rest, so I'm not some rich guy that can send his kid to a rich school. She was just, they wanted her. She's talented violinist and dancer and she had good grades and so they offered a 80% scholarship essentially you could the tuition at that place you could buy a new car every year <clears throat> but I didn't have to pay a penny but uh, so <clears throat> everything that goes with the elite snobbery of an all girls school in LA that I had to deal with <clears throat> anyway tangent tangent so every year they have a ring ceremony for the juniors. The junior class girls get their senior rings, and so they have a special ceremony. I'm like, okay, that's a once-in-a-lifetime thing. Let's go. So my wife and I go. We get there late. I mean, the ceremony hadn't started yet, but most of the parents are already seated. My wife's escorting me in, telling me where to sit. She says, sit down this aisle. It's like fifth from the front in the middle. She goes, sit, sit here. Go, go all the way down, sit next to whoever's down there. So I walk down, sit down, my wife sits next to me. I look to my right, and it's William H. Macy. And I'm like, and I kind of put my hand on his shoulder, I'm like, hey, I'm on your side. I'm on your side, I'm with you on this one. And on his other side was another friend, you know, another parent of one of my daughter's friend, friends or classmates. So it turns out the news was reporting that William H. Macy was not in New York as his wife was being sentenced because of marital issues. The truth is Felicity Huffman was being sentenced or charged or whatever in New York uh, on the same day as her daughter's ring ceremony. So I was sitting in Felicity Huffman's seat while Felicity Hus H Huffman's husband was doing the fatherly thing and attending his daughter's ring ceremony. I have more William H. Macy stories from that, from that school. I wasn't obviously the first time I had seen him or met him or interacted with him. Uh, let me tell you the first time. <laughs> so, I mean, here I am in the middle of that story. Uh, let me tell you two more stories. Uh, so immediately after that, like I'm, I'm sitting in Felicity, Huff, where Felicity Huffman would have been sitting, except she was caught up in the scandal. It was kind of an emotional moment. Uh, I, they were of all of the scandals, of all of the reports of what parents had done, the amounts of money they'd paid for people to take tests, or, or lying on these, you know, what, what 
William H. Macy and Felicity Huffman, it was for their older daughter, they had two daughters, it was for their older daughter, they had paid somebody like $14,000 to, I don't know, do the exam or something like that. And when it came time for their, it was, it was time for their younger daughter, the one that was a junior at the school, because when you're a junior, that's when you start looking at schools, start applying to schools. And when it came time for her to start applying, they, they were, even before they got busted, they were, they had second thoughts. They were not pursuing the same course for the, for their younger daughter. They knew that they had done wrong and they had had a change of heart, but they were still caught up. And so that's why I was like, I'm on, on your side on this one. You know, they were, they, uh, when you see the, the, the criminality that was involved and the amounts of money, they're like tiny, a tiny amount of money then they paid for what they did. And they still got caught up, but they, she did sometime, a couple weeks. Anyway, all right, that wasn't another story. Here's another, another story. Immediately a, uh, after that, I went to my work, my former work, because at this time I was no longer working at Entertainment Tonight. Entertainment Tonight is a news gossip, right? A celebrity gossip TV show. That's where I used to work. I popped in a like the next day after this happened, ran into one of the producers that I had a really good relationship with. And she knew, and she knew that I, I, had, I just in conversation, she knew that I had that connection to William H. Macy. And she was like, oh, she's like, we were reporting that we thought there were marital problems or something. And I filled her in. I don't know if they ever corrected their story, but I was able to at least give the producers the truth. You know, no, it was this ring ceremony. He was just being a good dad. There was no problem in the family. They actually... I, they probably drew closer together through this whole thing. All right, last story. Um, first time I ever met them. It's, it actually, it would, would have been better to tell this first, but. So my daughter says, um, my friend at school invited me to go to Hamilton. I have an extra ticket to see Hamilton at the Pantages. I think that's what it's called. In LA theater in LA I'm like okay cool so I have to take her uh, they're gonna have dinner first so I have to take her and drop her off to dinner and so I take her with some ritzy downtown restaurant near the theater and I walk her in and her friend is already there I guess her friend had ubered there her parents weren't there yet so I'm gonna sit and wait do the good dad thing and wait until the, the parents get there and in walks William H. Macy and Felicity Huffman. Um, I, I didn't, I don't know, I don't think I even knew ahead of time. Or maybe I did. Yeah, I guess I knew. But I'm like, oh, hello, hello. Have a good evening. So my daughter went to Hamilton with it because they had four tickets and the older sister was not available. So the younger sister invited my daughter, her classmate. Well, was that the last story? Yeah, it's the last story. All right, there it is. It's one of those true Hollywood stories. I told you I'd tell you the story. It's just kind of weird. Hey, I walked by Drew Carey this morning on my run. Like, Drew Carey lives in a neighborhood that I it's on my route. He walks by, he goes, keeps his head down, puts keeps his earbuds in, walking his dog. He walks his dog. <laughs> Crazy.